Let's look at how seizures develop, how they can be controlled, and what each one of us can learn to do if we see someone having a seizure. The brain is an intricate and marvelous mechanism for allowing us to do all the thousands of actions that we need to do each day. It controls our movements, thoughts, emotions, sensations, and the involuntary workings of our inner bodies. It is made up of billions of brain cells or neurons, which operate by communicating in a complex and precise series of electrochemical messages or interconnections. If something disturbs this delicate balance, a misfiring of cells may result and trigger a seizure. What we see as a seizure is really just an outward symptom of the underlying disorder of the brain. A number of factors can upset the brain's normal electrochemical balance. These primary seizure causes can include head trauma from traffic accidents, falls, excessively rough handling or shaking of infants or other head injuries, birth trauma from problems surrounding birth, especially lack of oxygen to the brain, biochemical imbalances resulting from poisoning, drug and alcohol overdoses, blood disorders or nutritional deficiencies. Diseases including certain degenerative, bacterial, viral and parasitic types. High fever, especially in infants. Circulatory disturbances caused by a stroke, hemorrhage or brain tumor.